Good morning, Mana here, coming to you from South Dakota. It is so cold today. When I woke up this morning, it was 10 degrees. With the wind chill, it was minus two. Brrr. Anyway, I've made another junk journal and I'd just like to show it to you. It measures uh, five by seven. It started out as a fruit snacks box and I brayered some paint on it and I used some cookie cutter shaped like a heart to make marks on the front cover. This is a heart embellishment that I painted red and I put glossy accents in the center. These little uh, book corners, I believe they're Tim Holtz corners. I like the cover of my little book. I think it's cute. On the inside, I used uh, one of my drop papers to make an envelope and I zentangled, oh, I punched a little heart out from one of my zentangles and put it on the cover. There's a tag inside and I made this tag uh, with a napkin. I just glued a napkin on top of the tag and used some Baker's twine as the tassel. My first signature is the the first page is one of my jelly prints with a doily tuck spot and a little heart that I punched out of my jelly print. This is a piece of watercolor paper. This is a pharmacy uh, bag from my prescriptions. This is a piece of ledger paper that I got a whole big thing of ledger paper at a garage sale for like a quarter. This is a paper clip that I embellished with washi tape and it has the word giggle on there. The uh, Another uh, ledger paper. This is this this little pocket here is the corner of some mail that, that I received. I just cut the envelope down and added a little Tim Holtz embellishment and it made it into a tuck spot. This little uh, tag that I made was uh, from one of my drop papers and I stamped a fish on it. That's one of my hand carved stamps. This page is uh, one of my Zentangles. It's a Zentangle pumpkin I did earlier this year. Here's another piece of ledger paper. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper, ledger paper. This is the other side of my prescription bag. And I punched out uh, one of my jelly prints with, with my punch and glued it on to the bag. This is the other uh, side of the watercolor paper. Another paper clip that I embellished with washi tape. And this is the back side of my jelly print. With this signature, it starts out with a piece of uh, scrapbook paper. This is a part of a Seven Gypsies file folder with a little tiny bookmark that just clips on there for a tag. This page is just a piece of junk mail or ephemera that I had. I made it a pocket out of a book page. And then I used a sticker that said live out loud and placed it on the front. Then I made um, another little tag out of my drop paper and I stamped a graphic 45 bottle on there. This is just a piece of some paper I had. This is uh, scrapbook paper. This is paper that I've had forever that I think I picked up at a garage sale. And I used a little uh, Tim Holtz embellishment for, for a tag. Another piece of scrapbook paper, another piece of uh, watercolor paper. This 
is uh, vellum, Tim Holtz vellum, that I just cut down and put behind my paper clip there. And the paper clip I embellished with uh, washi tape. This page is also just some paper that I got at a garage sale. A piece of scrapbook paper, a piece of paper that I just had in my stash. This is a piece of junk mail that I stamped with my third handmade stamp. I've made three, I've carved three stamps so far. I do enjoy carving stamps and I plan on carving more. This is the other side of the Seven Gypsies file folder and a piece of scrapbook paper. Uh, this signature starts out with a piece of um, craft paper and then this is just some ephemera that was in my stash. It's an advertisement for ladies clothing. This is just a piece of uh, ledger paper. This is a travel brochure that I picked up while on vacation this summer and used it as a page and I uh, put a moth sticker on there and it, it folds out like that. This is just a piece of paper from my stash. This is also just a piece of shiny paper from my stash. This page in the center of my book is kind of special. It was in my ephemera and it's a letter that a little girl named Krista wrote to her grandparents on November 18th in 1990. I'll read it to you. It says, Dear Grandma and Grandpa, Hi, how are you? I am fine. What have you been doing? We've been Christmas shopping this weekend. At school, I made it into DP Singers. DP Singers is a group of fourth and fifth graders that put on programs for the school and maybe we will go to other schools and malls. We've been invited to sing at Minnesota State Capitol, St. Paul. Well, I'd better go. Bye. Love, Krista. XOXO. P.S. Happy Thanksgiving. P.P.S. See you at Christmas. I thought that was just a great little find and a fun thing to put in the middle of that signature. This is just a piece of paper in my ephemera. This is another bit of a travel brochure. I just put a sticker on there, piece of ledger paper. The other part of the dress advertising, the backside of the stock uh, card stock. This is just a tag I made and I put uh, a napkin on the tag. This is a paper clip that, that I uh, embellished with one of my jelly prints and the word tantalize. This signature was one of my jelly prints and I cut out, uh, I zentangled on a card and I punched out three heart zentangles to go on that page. This page has a pocket with another one of my tags that was just in, made with one of my drop papers. I love drop papers. They are so colorful. This is just a piece of uh, cardstock, uh, craft cardstock in it, a piece of scrapbook paper. This is a business envelope from Junk Mail. And I made another tag from drop paper and I put a sticker on it that says peace. Another piece of ledger paper. This is also a travel brochure that just folds out like that. And on the other side of the travel brochure, I have no idea who this handsome guy is, but he, he's, uh, he was with my ephemera that I bought at a garage sale, and now he's in my junk journal. This is a piece of ledger paper. The other side of the envelope from Junk Mail with another tag I made from my drop paper and I punched out a heart zentangle. 
This page, I believe, is just a piece of scrapbook paper, and I put a tab on there that I had purchased just, just for fun. This is the other side of the uh, craft paper. Uh, this is just uh, a clip. And I just put a piece of uh, Tim Holtz vellum I cut down to size and clipped it in on the clip. And on the other side, it's just the back of the uh, jelly print and just a little embellishment paper, I guess. This is a piece of paper that I got at a garage sale. Another piece of junk mail envelope and another drop paper tag. I, I save every single drop paper that I make now. I just love drop papers. They're so interesting, so colorful, and there's never two pieces alike. This is a piece of old sheet music that was in my ephemera, another travel brochure, another piece of paper that was just in my stash. This is a page from a book a child's book. It might have been Dick and Jane. I'm not sure. Another piece of paper from my stash. The other side of the travel brochure. And the other side of the music sheet. This is just an envelope. And this is a, a sticker. It's an address label, actually, that I uh, uh, painted with my jelly print. Jelly, uh, Plate. and another drop paper tag oh, I just think they're so pretty and my last page is just a piece of paper that I got at a garage sale for this pocket it's made out of another piece of that envelope that was a pocket earlier in my um, junk journal and another uh, this is a jelly print I believe a jelly print tag that I made there's the back cover. I have so much fun making these little junk journal. This journal it has five signatures and an exposed stitch binding and 68 pages. And I'm going to gift this to a friend. Thanks for watching. Bye.